Hi guys, so today we're gonna take it further. We're gonna use the lines that we made yesterday and turn them into bricks and windows. Um, so how you do that is you hold your ruler vertical. And again, don't forget that trick I taught you guys where the top of your ruler is nice and straight and, and uh, matches up perfectly with the top of your paper so you don't get slanted lines. It really makes a difference when, it, when you're doing um, two point perspective. You wanna hold your uh, ruler straight and vertically. And the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to do bricks. So if I were gonna make a brick pattern, pattern, I would draw a line connecting the top two lines, skip, skip, and start like that. I'd move my ruler over slightly, and then I would do the same thing in the opposite lines and a brick pattern would appear, okay? Um, if I were to do windows, <clears throat> again, I'm gonna hold my ruler vertically and I'm gonna connect two lines. And now I have windows I could either later use a black Sharpie or pencil depend, um, depending on which route you go, if you're gonna kind of shade or, or do a black and white. We'll talk about that more when we get to final draft. But you could black out your windows or <clears throat> you could add more details to your windows like window panes. You could do a door. So again, holding my ruler vertically, connecting those two lines. Now it looks like a double door that I'd enter. Um, I'm gonna get fancy with it and add a little trim because most doors typically have some trim. I could do, if I wanna get really fancy, a nice wide window and I could create a balcony off of it. Now this is a little tricky. You don't have to do it. But if you want to go for it, try it out. And now it looks like a walkout balcony from this nice double window up here. I'm also going to show you how to do um, a billboard. So if I'm going to do a billboard on the top of this tall building, I would start with two very small vertical lines. Those are gonna be like the stilts or the, the legs of the billboard. And then since it's on the left side of my building, I'm gonna use my left vanishing point for the bottom and the top. And then I'm gonna connect it with two vertical lines. And as you can see, it's going off the page. And in here I could write something like, oh, I don't know, do the McDonald's logo or a hotel or whatever that billboard is for. So today, um, I want you to practice drawing bricks, windows, doors, and billboards in your buildings and getting the hang of it. Have fun.